Welcome to this, the first video in the Ranarek Studio Ranarek Spy series, Spy Functions. Ranarek Spy can be opened from within Ranarek Studio by clicking View Ranarek Spy, using the Ranarek Spy button, or the Edit in Spy button in the repository item line. Ranarek Spy also comes as a standalone program which can be opened from within the Windows operating system. Element Repository When started as a standalone version, Vanarek Spy offers to handle and manage self-contained repositories. The option to manage repositories is represented as the Element Repository button. We are able to add items, track items as discussed in the previous video series, load repositories from a disk location, save the repository to a disk location and highlight a repository item. By clicking on the repository item we can view the properties. We are also able to export the repository to either C Sharp or VB.NET code. The element tree browser represents an abstract representation of the computer's desktop GUI. Clicking on Browse Endpoint shows currently running applications on the active endpoint. If no specific endpoint is defined, the current host is the endpoint. Endpoints opens the endpoints pad, which is empty if no endpoints have been defined yet. Clicking the Refresh button refreshes the UI element tree to show the current state of applications. Load from Snapshot opens an existing Ranarek Snapshot file, whereas Save as Snapshot saves the current selected UI element, all of its ancestors and all of its descendants into a Ranarek Snapshot file. Further details of endpoints and snapshots can be found in the user guide, a link to which can be found in this video's description. If we expand the demo app in the tree view, and click the Highlight Elements button. When we hover over elements in the tree, we see that they are highlighted in the corresponding application. For demonstration purposes, the demo app. There are also many functions which can be accessed by using the context menu with the selected element. A few are described here. To set an element as root, we simply click on the element in question. Right mouse click and set as root. The former tree element, the demo app, is now the root element. Using the context menu once again, we can add items to the repository. We can add one element or the element and its children. They will then be added to the repository, which can be viewed by clicking the element repository button. Following the same procedure with the context menu, we can capture a screenshot of an element which can be later used within image-based validation. The UI element details area lists all properties and attributes of a corresponding UI element. They include the primary adapter and name of the UI element, information about the size and the position of the UI element on the desktop, Values are given in pixels and within the XY coordinate system. And finally, the information window with the UI elements properties and attributes. The image navigation area enables you to browse through the UI elements of the tree browser by navigating through the displayed screenshot. If we therefore click on the tab page element, we see the entire database tab. At the top of the image navigator, you can see the primary adapter type. If we move the mouse over a specific child element, you will see the adapter type. If we now select the container GRP gender element, we see a screenshot of the corresponding element. If we then double click outside the selected element, the parent element is selected. In the next video in the Renorex Studio Renorex Spy series, we will be looking at the path editor.